Hey there, Matthew here. So I have the brand new Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra here. Uh, this is the first flagship to come out in 2024 and I'm super excited. I have had the Samsung Galaxy S23 for about a year now, I guess. And I really enjoyed that phone until I got the Pixel 8 Pro. And so we're just gonna do a quick unboxing and first impressions of just the look and the build. I'll turn on the phone and do more of a review on, I guess, the software and how it is later on. But this is my unboxing of the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. Stay tuned. I'm gonna make several comparisons to last year's Samsung S flagship, the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. So just be aware and be prepared for a little bit of comparisons, I guess, especially when it comes to the build and how it looks, the design. But anyways, we're gonna set this to the side and we're gonna go over this real quick. So the S24 Ultra, is now available, I guess, as of January 31st. I did get this a little bit early, so that's why you may be seeing this a little early. So this actually retails for $100 more starting off than the previous generation, the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, at a starting price of $1,299, and then it moves up to $1,419. And then 1,659 for the 256, the 512, and the one terabyte respectively. So just be aware, it does get expensive. But this is their flagship phone here. You do have several different colors here. Um, I do have the violet color. I decided to go with something a little violet. Last year I went with the very, very bright red, I guess. You could call this red, it's it's a weird color red, but, um, and so I kind of went with, I guess, a subtle version and with the violet, but you do have some Samsung exclusive colors. So you do get titanium green, titanium blue, and then also a titanium orange, which are pretty cool. They're Samsung exclusive, so you won't find them in stores. But then you also have the violet color, which I have here. You have the titanium yellow, titanium black, and titanium gray. Um, all those colors are really cool. I decided to forego the Samsung exclusive colors because I did kind of like that violet color. This is available for all major US carriers, so just be aware of that. Uh, let's go ahead and just quickly uh, cut the, at least cut the seal here, and then we'll talk a little bit more about this phone. So I'm gonna cut this. There we go. And I'm gonna cut this here. There we go. And then you do get this right here. So here we go. And just be aware there is a little box in the top of the phone itself, or the the box, box on top of the box of the lid. So again, quick start guy from AT&T. So that right there is gonna be AT&T exclusive. I'm not used to that. I usually get the unbox, uh, unlocked versions, um, but then you do get a USB-C to USB-C um, cable right here. It's fairly, it's, it's nice. Um, I do use other cables and then uh, you do get a, I guess, an AT&T SIM card if you want to, I guess, uh, activate a new SIM card, but I'm just gonna take my SIM card out of my previous phone and put it in this phone, so there is that. But that's what you get in the top lid box of the box, I guess you could call it, but we'll move that here. And then here you see we do have the phone itself. Uh, very, very nice. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, there it is, that purple, whereas this is a little bit more bright, but there you go, right there. Um, and you can see a little subtle difference. We'll kind of go over that in a minute. Uh, here is the phone, so let's just quickly listen. 
Ooh, that sounds so good. Just like that. So here is the phone. It is very, very nice. This is now made out of titanium, whereas the S23 Ultra was made out of aluminum. Big change, I guess, with this phone is no longer do you have the, the curved edge of the S23 Ultra and the previous S phones, at least the flagship phone, you do now have a flat display, which means uh, it's gonna be easier for the S pin when you use that that's what Samsung claims is that they did it for the ease of use of the S pin especially with the case so that's gonna be nice as well but I will say it does look really really good with that flat display um, I personally like flat displays uh, but um, also it is a little bit more boxy uh, if you can see here I don't know it is more boxy on the sides here but it's not straight just like the let's say the the iphone it or the nothing phone it is does have kind of that rounded edge on both sides which is nice but it is a little bit boxier uh, let's see if i can get that comparison going here there we go i don't know if you can see that there is that it is a little boxier you do get four lenses with this phone. You do have a 200 megapixel wide angle lens, which is gonna be your primary lens. You do get a 12 megapixel ultra wide lens. You do get a 50 megapixel five times telephoto lens, which is different than last year. Uh, last year you, you got that 10 times telephoto, but I think uh, last year's was a 10 mex megapixel at 10 uh, times. Then you get a 10 uh, megapixel three times telephoto lens. And then the front has the 12 megapixel front facing lens right here. I'm super excited for this phone. This one again is violet, but it has a little bit of that, I don't know, it's, it's kind of a goldish accent which is really really nice i wouldn't I, I want to say that i think the camera butt might be a, is a little bit bigger as you can see here i don't know let's see you might be able to see the camera bump is bigger on the s24 ultra but this does house a little bit more powerful a little bit larger uh lenses when it comes to megapixels and all that but so yeah, so this is the S24 Ultra. You do get the USB-C uh, charging port here, and this does charge, I believe it's 45 wire charging and 15 wireless charging. Don't quote me on that. So uh, sadly, uh, Samsung chose to opt out of the Qi 2 uh, wireless charging standard, which I was really hoping they would be able, they would do. Uh, I think it's just a hit and a miss on their part. I think that uh, everything's going that direction and it gives you that MagSafe compatibility uh, like the iPhone has. And so I really wish that Samsung had done that, was go with that Qi, wire, uh, Qi 2 wireless charging with that MagSafe compatibility. This does have a 5,000 milliamp hour battery, so it's about it's the same size as last year's flagship, the S23 Ultra. You do get your uh, S Pen slot right here, which I don't know. Maybe the S Pen looks a little bit flatter too. I don't know if you can see that, but it does look a little bit flatter on the edge, so that's really nice. The speaker grill right here is a little bit different. No longer do you have this kind of perforated edge right here you actually do get just a slot for your speaker grill so that's really nice and then on here you do get your sim tray right there just like that and then you do have your power buttons uh, let's see if i can move here you get your power button here just like on the s23 ultra you get your volume rocker right there as well i'm super excited to uh, use this phone um, i've kind of been waiting I, I really again really enjoyed the s23 ultra um, i like the size it's a 6.8 inch screen well, like this one and so uh it i was super excited this does have that super amoled display which is really really nice this does come with the qualcomm snapdragon 8 gen 3 for galaxy whereas last year's had the gen 2 for galaxy so you should be able to see uh, a little bit of a uh, bump in performance with this versus that and then uh, the RAM options last year you had an 8 gigabyte option and a 12 gigabyte option this year you only have the 
12 gigabyte option. This has been my Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra unboxing. Um, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that bell icon to be notified when I post another video. Thank you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one.